Hello everyone! So today I'm going to talk about the weather in the spring in Minnesota. So first, obviously March is the first month of spring. Temperatures in March are between minus 5 and 6 degrees, so it's still pretty cold actually. This is a very typical view of a small lake in Minnesota in March. As you can see, there's still some ice and some snow, but if you notice, the ice is turning to water and the snow is going away. This is very typical at the end of March and also at the beginning of April. So in April, temperatures are slowly getting warmer, they're typically between 3 and 13 degrees. And by the middle of April, all the snow, typically, is gone. And this is what it looks like. So no snow, but there are still no leaves. The grass is still kind of brown. And the water has no ice. Now, April is also the wettest month in Minnesota. That means we get a lot of rain in April. Typically, we will get about 13 centimeters of rain in April. So after April, we come to May. Again, it's getting warmer. Typical temperatures are between 9 and 20 degrees. There's still a bit of rain in May, not as much as in April, and all the trees and the flowers are starting to bloom, or they're getting their leaves and growing flowers. We'll see more of that in a minute. Then in June, it's still getting warmer. Typically, temperatures are between 13 and 27 degrees. This is a very typical picture of a lake in Minnesota in June. As you can see, all the leaves are on the trees, the grass is very green, and it's warm enough to go swimming or going in the boat at whatever lake you want to go to. This is when people will go to the beach and go swimming very often. And here is another picture of the famous Spoon Bridge and Cherry statue in Minneapolis. Again, lots of green grass, green on the trees, lovely blue skies with some clouds. That's a very, this is a very typical picture of June. So, those are the general temperatures and kind of how uh, the grass and the trees change and things like that. But some more, uh, some more typical things... So some more things that are typical in the spring are, of course, rain. I mentioned that in April we get about 13 centimeters of rain. That's the most for any one month, but in May and in June we will typically get maybe 8 to 10 centimeters of rain. So lots of rain, lots of water is good for the trees. Now, we also get lots of floods in the spring. That is because we have lots of rain and we have all the snow turning to water in March and in April. So mix, you know, one meter of snow will melt into maybe 10 centimeters of, or 13 or maybe even 20 centimeters of water that, with all the rain, causes floods. Flooding is only typical near rivers and lakes. Uh, I think this, this town is close to a, the Mississippi River, which is a very big river. As you can see, there's probably oof, a good one meter, maybe one meter thirty of water on the ground. The stop sign is almost covered that's the door of a building right there. And some people have to take their boats out to move around their city. 
these floods can be very dangerous and they can cause a lot of damage as well. Like you can see here, this car is losing all of its oil and that's not very good. These cars, well, these cars can move in water, but they shouldn't. It's very dangerous. And here also you can see there's lots of snow. The snow mixes with the rain, goes into the street, and fills the street with water. We also get a lot of storms in the spring. Now, in the spring it's very curious, very interesting, because in March and at the beginning of April we often get snowstorms still. So they'll be very fast and we might get uh, five centimeters of snow, maybe ten at the most. But it's very, it's interesting to think that even in spring, we still get snow in Minnesota. But by the end of May and in June, we get heavy rainstorms like this one and thunderstorms like this one. And this one has a, a very interesting set of clouds. Typically, this is what a storm, a thunderstorm looks like. We get a lot of lightning with this. So, a lot of rain with these storms comes as well. And with all this rain, we have all of our trees and our flowers blooming. That is when they get their leaves, when they grow flowers and fruit. So here we can see some different trees on a hill in Minnesota. Some typical green trees and some white and kind of pinkish purple trees. Now these are the flowers that are on the trees. Uh, after these flowers, we get normal leaves. And of course, this applies to normal flowers, like right here. I think we have many different tulips right here. And of course, some greenish yellow trees, some dark green trees, pink, white. Those are all the, the uh, flowers that later turn into leaves on the tree.